Good afternoon everyone, so today we're at a little Peugeot 207 1400cc diesel engine So the fault codes are a P0489 EGR electro valve position copy signal valve opening too large and a P1162 EGR electro valve position copy signal valve stuck when driving so take a picture of that so we went in and we actually I'll show you this sometimes this is the easiest way to find something functional test actuator test continue EGR valve continue so if you click start oh yeah we heard clicking in about the background here so it was inconclusive so we went back into our guided component test engine EGR information and then it says it's fitted at the gearbox end of the cylinder head facing the bulkhead so Roddy's on the job so we're going to go for it probably be gunged up but if it's not, maybe it requires a new one, so we'll see. Cheers. So there's the position of the EGR valve down the back there. We managed to take the top off. There it's there, it's like got a clip with clips, well, slotted section. And that goes down into it, so it looks guy, guy gummed up. These little screws that hold these on, I think they're a T20 Torx. Now one of them we had to chop it off, it was right tight we had to actually chisel it round chase it round and then it came out but so that's it down there so we'll try and clean that out as best as we can if no we'll just need to renew the EGR valve but it's complaining about it being stuck but you can see actually this this just rotates within here see it goes up that way Let's see if I can get a good light on that there we go and then it rotates down the other way. It just goes back and forward to open up, but we can't see any gaps in it to allow the exhaust gas to flow. So we'll try and take that middle bit out. So as you can hear, we've got the car started and we're turning the, the valve back and forward. And it, so we'll just rotate it. So you can hear a difference in the engine note. So we're not sure if that's actually in that position as it opened or closed, but when we turn it, that sounds a bit better, sounds a bit smoother. But our problem with this, I was trying to look at airflow on the scan tool, but we kind of keep the air the airflow meter's got to be disconnected for us doing this test. So ah uh, and this bit here seems to be clicked into this position there. And the computer doesn't like that, see that just clicks in, so our tests are inconclusive, so Put it back together, see if we'll maybe improve the situation. So that's us back together. So we're going to take it a run, see if that EGR fault code comes back after moving it back and forward. Uh, don't know if you can hear, listen to this. There's a chuffing noise or a, a puffing noise. P -p 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 -p. So we think one of the injector seals is away. So I believe these are buried down the back. So the guy's been complaining about a smell within the interior, within the cabin, like a diesel smell. So I think that's where it's coming from, a, a leaky seal around the injector. So that'll be a job for another day. Anyway, yeah, we'll let you see the facts and the figures. Right, first EGR throttle program valve incorrect, first, mm, so last EGR valve program value correct, last EGR throttle program value incorrect, mm. I wonder if you can... Have a go at correcting that, although I don't really know what it means. Oops. Uh, functional test, special functions. Uh, electric EGR valve replacement. Uh, we'll no bother that anyway. Well, there you EGR mixer butterfly replacement. So obviously you can replace this EGR on two parts, I would imagine. Let's take it around and see if it comes back. 